making history here. So just being a part of this is, you know, more than what I can ask for. So I'm very glad I'm here being able to race, hanging out with all these top pilots. That's what it's all about. The Drone Nationals is not about um, registering, it's more about you need to go to, an, to a qualifying event, which is, for example, in Virginia was the, the multi rotor rundown. Um, last weekend in Jersey was the Liberty Cup. So you need, you need to sign up for this event and then place on the first, in between the, the first and fifth place in order to qualify for a position over here. Every day you learn something new, every day you get better, um, every day you fly with some other people. Like, in, in Virginia, I went to Virginia and it was a whole new level for me. So there's two frames that are really, really fast and competitive. Um, one is the Hobby King Arc 200, made by Darkside Quads uh, on hobbyking.com. And the frame that I choose to fly is uh, the Kraken 5-inch uh, from Bolt RC and uh, represented an Aussie company as well. Uh, so you get that at boltrc.com. Um, a pure VX. Lumineer just released them uh, about a week ago. And, uh, Lumineer? Yes. Lumineer. What is it? The Lumineer? QAVX. QAVX, yeah. Exactly. Smaller than the Exactly. That, this was the model before, like the QAVR. And uh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, they brought out this X frame recently, about a month ago or, or a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure, quite sure when they exactly released it, but I got it in this week, built it up, and like to fly it. For racing. I have a QVR. Yeah, I think I'm it's pretty strong. Yeah. My favorite frame is the Alien. Uh, it's pretty expensive, sort of overhyped, but I like it a lot. I'm one of the unique ones here. I qualified in mini quad for both team and solo, and also for the flying wing, the wing wing racing. Oh, wow. Which I'm not sure if you had a chance to see that, but that's the real racing here. Oh, wow. It's really awesome. Racing. Hopefully, we get a chance to fly some more today. Looking forward to it. I'm actually flying a prototype mini quad from a company called Secret Weapon Drone. They just came out with that particular model. Um, I used to fly Lumineer frames, but now I've moved on to stuff that's a little higher performance. So those are my uh, mini quad of choice. And for wings, I'm sponsored by Team TBRC Wings. So this is my sponsor, and I fly race wings for them. And so we have a whole team here uh, racing with several guys that qualified for the Drone Nationals here today. Batchar came out with many different goggles, but I see almost like 80% everyone has the Dominators. Yes. That seems to be the, the running Yes, I do goggles. as well. Why is that? Like, is that... Well, because there's only been, there's been several goggle things put out on the market. However, some of them are a large single screen. And I have found as a pilot that a large single screen, my eyes have to wander very much to see the corners of the screen. It's stressful on my eyes. So the Fat Shark line of goggles gives you a nice large display, but it's everything that you can focus on in a much smaller window, so it doesn't strain your eyes. They're smaller, they're lighter, and you can carry them anywhere much easier than the large single screen monitor type. So that's why they've become very popular. They have a module that you can put in it so you can change your frequencies and everything there without having to plug into a base station to get your receiver or something like that. So they have everything in one package. That's what makes them really nice. Yeah, yeah, I love the fat shots. Yeah, yeah, just the old school Dominator V2s. Been rolling these for like a year now. They're still good. Hey brother. A lot of fun. Of course. Uh, Glad I didn't crash. There's metal stuff out there. The so. DED killing it, huh? <laughs> The 
I'm a referee, a judge, so we're just waiting for the next round. So oh. we're good. So uh, we had a little rain delay. Stage starting to dry up, going through some technical difficulties. Make sure everything's dry. We'll give Brad Bay. So as a referee, you wear goggles too, though. Interesting. Explain yeah. that. This is something no one knew. Like this is so new. Yeah. So what's going on is that there's a splitter in here. We're seeing exactly what they are seeing. So. If there is a fuzz out, then I can verify, yes, I'm seeing what he's seeing. So instead of just going, I didn't, it blacked out, I can verify, or if he crashed or whatever. Explain so, that now, a fuzz out, if I get a fuzz out and I'm a pilot, I get a refly, I get a reflight? That's correct, or? because it's on our end, it's our error, meaning just technical difficulty, whatever it could have been, it could have been a Wi-Fi, something that jumped on the signal, and they lost it, they crashed it. You know, it was not their problem. It was something that just happened. So we give them a review. And I noticed a lot of pilots are flying Dominators, but you have a different type. Uh, you have a newer version. Uh, I haven't seen the orange and black. What is that? Like, it's a good question. I don't know myself. It's what I know they a little bit about it. Them. They're not out yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a brand new model. They, I believe they're using LCDs that they got a really good deal on. I believe it's also going to be a budget model. I've only seen them online before tomorrow or before yesterday. So, yeah. There you go. And they've got a nice wide field of view too. Everyone's been pretty happy with them. Yeah, we're gonna race. Where is the course that you're gonna race? Is that it right there? Uh, the course is actually all around us. Okay. Um, it's the whole thing. You got the gauntlet. You got all these crazy looking gates. Big old swoopy turns over there. It's gonna be sick. I saw, I was like, whoa, he went up there. Yeah, like, but I finished, that's pretty crazy. I finished with those props. It's still, it's it flew great. I didn't hear anything back. That's the good thing about drones. We take off from a foot by foot piece, land on a foot by foot. We don't need no runways or nothing. It's part of the fun. Just ready to take off, man. How's your team doing? How you been, how you been feeling today? Very good. This was my best run yet and Beyond, after this, what happens, happens. I'm satisfied. Yeah, we're making history here. Good to do this. It's my, yeah, this is fun. I've been sailing for 15 years and wondering why people don't get sailing as a competitive sport as a spectator. So to come here and see like everybody get it immediately, all these kids say, I want a drone race, I want a drone race. I wish we could do this for other sports because somehow this has just struck a chord. It's a good thing. It's okay, man. At I, 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 least, as long as it's helping, you know, people get in the hobby and finding something that they love to do, then it's great. That's what it is. Yeah. I've always gotten that from your videos. Uh, you don't care about like the glitz and glamour. Very down to earth guy. Always stay true to just the feeling and the energy. Yeah, I mean, the, and in here on this, in this, uh, on these events, it's great because you meet people that 
are getting into it right now, so they get really kind of inspired to kind of start flying. You know? So that's great. That's the bigger part for me on this event because I started doing this to have fun and release stress, not to get stress. You know. So. Any last words for the YouTubers on my channel out there? I'm gonna put this up there. Just no, well, if you if you guys think this is something that might interest you, you know, like go for it because you're gonna be addicted to it. I saw the Get FPV tent and I'm very familiar with their website. I like a lot of their gear, so I figured I would buy some FPV gear and get started, get flying. I'm here with Andrew Graber. He's gonna tell us a little bit about his company, a little bit of what brought him out here today, and just let us know about FPV racing. Hey guys, I'm Andy. I'm here with Get FPV and Lumineer. We're a drone dealer here. We design a lot of the equipment that you see out flying at these races. We're here supporting the community here. We have a lot of our own pilots actually here. That the Lumineer team, we have five guys on the race team and then a couple guys in the freestyle. We love FPV, we're all about it. We design a lot of the gear uh, that you would need to fly. So we're hooking you guys up with, with Yeah, what, what are we need. gonna buy today? We're gonna- we're, I think uh, you're looking at the QVR, the five inch QVR. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a full build with all the electronics, the 2206, 2350 KV motors, 30 amp BL Heli ESCs, the Lumineer Lux flight controller, can run the latest beta flights and clean flight and stuff like that. Uh, you have the CM650 camera and the 200 milliwatt 5.8 transmitter. Get you everything you need to go racing. Damn. Yeah, man. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate All it. Right. You're welcome. There you have it, folks. You're going to see the build later on in the next video, and you're going to see us starting our first race. Thank you so much for watching. Keep tuning in. We're going to show you more here at the Drone Racing Nationals at Governor's Island in New York City. What's up, man? You look like one of the coolest, chillest dudes out here. Oh. <laughs> How'd you get into this crazy oh, ass hobby? Oh, my buddy hobby? Sean Stanford. He, okay. forced, he kind of forced me into it back home. He didn't, I didn't want to do it, and he's just like, dude, we gotta start flying these racing drones. What's now. your name, man? What's your pilot? What's uh, your, uh... Sean Taylor, I'm Night Fury. Sean Taylor. Yeah. Sam Price, nice to meet you, <laughs> nice man. Nice to meet you, man. Night Fury. Yes, sir. Oh, drone world! Drone world! Oh. Remote Chief, check him out, subscribe. The Remote Chief brings it to you live again, live at the 2016 Drone Nationals in New York City at Governor's Island. We met like five of the most famous drone pilots. I got to interview three of the most famous drone pilots that I know. Some international drone pilots from all over the world. There was guys from Australia, London, New York, Florida, California, Colorado, people from all over the country. A bunch of other people, Team Whoop, Black Sheep, Luminaire, you name it. Bringing you to many different places on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe, the Chief Abides. And remember, do what makes you feel good and have a great day. Peace.